I've had the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pleasure of uh, giving welcome to country for this organisation on quite a few occasions. Now, welcome to country doesn't see Aboriginal or non-Aboriginal or your ethnicity. It just sees you. I love expressing that to people to say, welcome to my country, welcome to your country, welcome to our country. Aboriginal employment is a really important part of our workforce development program. We have a people development strategy which is all about us developing our people in service New South Wales. And what we would like to have is a diverse workforce that reflects the communities that we serve. Because we know that if we put customers at the heart of everything that we do and we serve our communities in an authentic and genuine way, then we'll really provide great customer service. At Service New South Wales we've had a, a great history already in our young five years of um, really supporting our staff and diversity and that might be um, celebrating NAIDOC week as we do now or multicultural week or having the women in leadership uh, events. So what we're trying to do here at Service New South Wales is create opportunities at all levels. For example, we can bring in a trainee at the entry level to really learn to understand our business and then provide opportunities for development and growth so that trainee can come on board, become a coordinator, move into a service centre manager role and potentially into a senior leadership role down the track. The best part of being a trainee at Service New South Wales is just to be able to be amongst such great culture, not only Aboriginal, but it's amazing to see the different cultural differences. So sometimes uh, we have a day where we bring in food and it's great to see a table full of colourful foods that I've never seen before. As Service New South Wales, we recognise everyone. We try and get people served as fast as we can and we do our best job to make you walk out with a smile on your face. Tamara and I are members of the um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Employee Resource Group. The intention for me as the ERG member is to ensure that Aboriginal voices across the agency are heard. Um, if there's issues in different parts of DFSI, they can bring it to the ERG and then we can raise it at a much higher platform to ensure that that issue is addressed appropriately. It's about making sure that we're in touch with our communities, that we understand our communities and we really understand our customer and what they need from us because diversity of leadership and diversity of thought is what will really build us up as a great organisation to work for.